$0.65 cents a trip. Tens of thousands of students are expected to protest across Canada tomorrow to demand the Liberal government to follow up on its uh, promises to uh, cut tuition fees. Um, earlier, uh, a news conference was uh, held in Toronto to outline uh, student concerns here. Students have been betrayed by their government. The Liberal Party promised a tuition fee reduction in an attempt to buy the votes of students and their families. Now many of those who voted have, for this promise have been left with nothing. We have Graham Stewart from the... The Canadian Federation of Students says the McGuinty government is even thinking of increasing tuition fees in the fall of 2012. The Ontario spokesperson for the Federation says this is the exact opposite of its initial promise and completely unacceptable. A Canada U.S. treaty organization says a new plan to govern Lake Ontario water level should help restore its ecosystem. The International Joint Commission says the lake will be allowed to uh, be a few centimeters higher on average in the spring and fall than the current regulations allow. Similar proposals before were withdrawn after protests from people and businesses along the shoreline. Environmental groups like this new plan though, which would take steps to restore the lake after decades of regulations that really fit favored recreation, business, and shoreline property over environmental issues. Now, air quality has been improving across Canada since the 70s. That's the finding of Canada's leading public policy.